salutations. So I've been meaning to make this video for a while, and by a while, I mean Pride Month. I thought, you know, during my tiny mini hiatus on YouTube, I was like, yeah, let's do a comeback video of me taking a gay quiz during Pride Month. And then I kept procrastinating and pushing it off. And then the next thing you know, it was July and Pride Month was over. Oh, well, we'll just do it now, you know, really at the peak of the Heartstopper popularity. Confession, I've never seen Heartstopper. Is it Heartstopper or Heartstoppers? Is it plural? See, I don't even know. I was going to, but I'm gonna be honest, I I didn't really want to, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why I didn't watch it. It's not that I have anything against gay media. I mean, for crying out loud, I'm drinking out of a mason jar and I have a rainbow straw. Look me in the eyes and tell me that I'm straight. That, that's not the point of this video. The point is, is that I'm gonna be taking an am I gay quiz because I've actually never taken one before. I figured at an early age, I was like 16, around the time that I was like questioning my sexuality, I think. Truthfully, I came to the conclusion that, you know what, if I have to Google, am I gay? There's a really good chance that the answer is probably yes in some form or fashion. Like, I mean, I know I'm not completely there, but like, trust me, if you have to ask, the answer is probably yes. Like you don't see straight people Googling, am I straight? So never actually taken the quiz, but I thought it would be fun to take one just, you know, just cause I can. Yeah, I, I thought it would be fun. Also, um, I'll be linking all the quizzes I take. I'm gonna, be I'm gonna be taking multiple quizzes. I'm gonna link all of the links to the quizzes down in the description if you would like to take the quizzes with me and let me know what you guys get as well because it, it, it could be a fun little bonding oh. exercise for all of us. Because I know you're not straight. How gay are you? Okay, choose a color. Red, blue, pink, yellow, lilac, green. Um, I've been liking a lot of pink recently. I don't know why. Truthfully, if black was an option, I would have picked that one, but pink is the second best option for me. Pick your favorite Beyonce song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> TBH, I'm not into Beyonce, log out. Whoever, if anybody picks this one, log out. I think my favorite Beyonce song is Ego. I really like that song. Um, But if we have to pick a second best, I like the vibe Drunken Love gave. Like I remember being in middle school when Drunken Love was like, at its peak of popularity. It was such a vibe, especially the whole surfboard line. Like every, you know, as a middle schooler, you're like, we were giggling to ourselves like, he, 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 she's talking about sex. That's a sex. <laughs> yeah, you know, we were just so immature. It was great. Do you enjoy consen consensual sexual experience with or feel a sexual attraction to members of the same sex as yourself? <laughs> Um, are you gay? And if so, do you have a gay lover living with you in the house? <laughs> We're just going to go with that one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else they want me to say. What city would you most like to live in? Is there like a really gay city? Is that what it is? Is New, New York seems kind of gay, but so does San Francisco. San Francisco can, can seem kind of limp rest, right? I don't know. But there's a difference between living in a city and like visiting. So like, I would love to visit New York, but I, f I feel like it would be hell to actually live there. So we're gonna go with Tokyo. I've never actually been to Tokyo. I don't know, I, I don't know. I've always wanted to visit, but like, honestly, I out of everywhere else, I would, I don't know. I feel like I, I would enjoy Tokyo. What's your drink of choice? Literally none of the above, Jesus Christ. Are gay people alcoholics? Oh my God. I, I sound like, I, I kind of sound low key homophobic. Guys, I'm not straight. I promise I'm at the, the, this is, this is not, this is not the, the internalized homophobia speaking or anything. I swear, just jokes and laughs, jokes and laughs. I don't know, cocktails. I'm, I'm not, I don't drink alcohol, so. I'm drinking, this is Pepsi, guys. Okay, just to clarify, do you like having sex with people of the same? What is going on? Buzzfeed, what's going on, babe, 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 babe? Come on, are you trying to use homosexual people as a way to satisfy some weird kink that you got going on? Like, why are you so concerned about that? Like, why can't we keep it PG? I'm confused. Do we need to talk? I'm gonna just talk to whoever. Who made this? Sorry. Who made this quiz? Tom Phillips and Scott Bryan, you sick fucks. You nasty mugs. I'm on to you both. You're not getting away with this. What's your ideal Saturday night? Clubbing till 5 a.m. dinner in theater, quiet drink with friends, doing something new, house party, night with ne night in with Netflix, yeah. What did I do yesterday? Yesterday was Saturday. Good Lord, I didn't do anything. I kind of just sat around all day. Truthfully, 
I think I was just <laughs> I was watching Netflix. I I don't know what I, I don't remember what I was watching. Oh no, I was watching The Boondock. So you know, it, it was it was a night in with HBO Max, but you know, same vibe. Ooh, hang on. Have you ever felt sexual attraction of someone of the same sex? What the hell is going on? Your questions are weird, but it's not like in a, ew, I can't imagine being with somebody of the same sex as me. It's like, that, no, it's just because you're really hyper fixated on this specific aspect of homosexuality. And it's like, weird. I feel uncomfortable right now. Which US president do you most identify? <laughs> what is this? What does this have to do with anything? Do I most identify with? I mean, I guess Barack Obama, but that's for the obvious reason. Uh <laughs> What's your favorite root vegetable? I like potatoes. If you could pick your ideal partner for a romantic date, what qualities would they have? They'd have to be the same sex as me. You know, this, this quiz is such a joke. Prefer the same sex, but mostly, you know, hot. Don't care about their sex, care about wine. Okay, well, I half, I, they had me in the first half. Ideally the opposite sex, but it's no biggie. They must be the opposite sex. You hear me? Jesus Christ. Dates are boring. Out of all of these, I feel this one the most. I mean, if we change wine to like Pepsi, maybe some Coke. Pick a weather phenomenon. Flooding, little puffy cloud, sunshine, tornado, ball, lightning, big pretty rainbow. I like clouds. Clouds are really pretty. What the hell is this pick? I have to blur this shit out. Why are you making my life harder, Buzzfeed? Why are you doing this to me? Now I gotta edit. Now I gotta actually do work for this video. Why do you hate black people? <laughs> That's right, I'm bringing race into this. I know this video is about sexuality. I'm bringing my race into this, screw it. Pick an, pick an arbitrary box. What? Why are they making this, like, these really mean ones an option? Whatever. First is the work, second is the best. Oh my god, what is this paragraph? A plane leaves New York at 4.15 p.m. local time, bound for London, traveling at 500 miles per hour. Another plane leaves London at 9.30 p.m. local time, heading in the opposite direction, traveling at 555 miles per hour. If they maintain a constant airspeed, do you ever want to have sex with someone of the same sex? I don't like this quiz anymore. You know what, see now they're making me homophobic. Awkward wavy hand gesture. Yeah, except except th this is the hand gesture I'm making. Like seriously, screw you guys. What the hell is this? What is this quiz? Traditional labels are meaningless. Gay, straight, male, female. There are more to a world than those blunt terms encompass. You get to define yourself and you're free to celebrate your sexuality or lack of however you choose. Hurrah! You know what? Despite the whiplash I kept getting from this quiz, this is exactly what I was aiming for. Thank, thanks for that. God, that was low-key terrible. Uh, let's, let, let's take another one. I'm gonna switch over though. I'm gonna change the question. So I feel like I'm being very limited. So I feel like they're really just like, just going gay straight. There's a lot of other things out there. Yeah. What's my sexuality quiz? This will be the last one. So who do you get emotionally attracted to? Gender does not matter. Yeah, that's how I feel. Which sex are you physically attracted to? Not interested. When you look at an attractive person of the opposite sex, what do you feel like doing? I become curious about their skin and hair. I wish I had the same kind of looks. Oh, okay, I see where that was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were kind of losing me. Ew, I thought I was gonna be something creepy. Like they just wanna like harvest their 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 organs, like scoop them out from, from the inside and use their empty hide as like a meat suit. Yeah, I don't, I don't like how my brain immediately went to the worst. Yeah, that's my bad. Look at an attractive person. Truthfully, I don't do anything. When I see an attractive person, I'm like, oh, they're attractive. And I keep it pushing, like I don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, this one's the closest thing. I don't I don't really do anything. I don't wish to do anything with a stranger, you know what I mean? Which sex do you feel most comfortable with? Uh, yeah, I feel def I definitely feel more comfortable with other women or feminine people. Who do you fantasize about and desire to have sex with? Ugh. Anyway. Have you dated someone of the same sex as you in the past? No, I haven't actually. Why is the only I was never interested in dating. Why is there just not a no? Why is there a definite yes, but not a definite no? Like, never and not interested. What? I've always dated people, both of them, like, no. Sex with a person, never can, like, there, there's just not a no option. <laughs> Where is just the no? Because it's true, I've never did it, but it's not that I'm not interested, I just haven't, dude. Oh my god. These quizzes suck, man. Okay, whatever. I'll just go with that one. Ugh.
for crying out loud. Who do you crush on the most frequently? Yeah, just people. I crush on people, dude. You are on a beach on a hot summer day. God, sounds like my worst nightmare. Who do you notice imme immediately? I notice myself sweating and dying and being boiled from the inside out. And I feel very uncomfortable because there's sand everywhere. And I'm really, really close to the ocean. And I hate the ocean because the ocean is public water. And that's literally the toilet of thousands and millions and billions of creatures. And there's also probably some sort of demon hanging out at the bottom of the ocean just waiting to snatch me up if I ever get on a ship and go out into the open waters and then the ship sinks and uh, like the titanic and i'm and i become a sacrificial lamb for these uh the the demon creatures because they are also intelligent and they have a, a society down there where they use washed up creatures as sacrificial lambs so that way they can be sh make sure that they get good luck for the rest of the year due to their demon god person that they look up to you know I, i'm just not a big fan of the beach personally i'm just I, i'm gonna say everyone because i'm just acutely aware of my surroundings and i can't I'm, i i'm looking at everyone and i'm wondering how the hell everybody else is having a good time because i am just so miserable how would you describe your intimate life okay you don't need to know that how about mind your own business challenge what will you do if someone of the same sex asks you out on a date it's never happened to me before Whatever. Treat them like everyone else, I guess. Who do you think can make you most happy in a romantic relationship? I have like a very weird sense of like attraction. I don't know. I don't know though. There's a sound on TikTok that's like kind of blowing up a little bit and it's of uh, Justin Roiland from Rick and Morty. Um, It was, it's of an old thing that they did for Adult Swim. It was like some court case and he and Justin Roiland was uh, doing uh, the Rick and Morty voice and reading the transcript. And so there's this one part of the transcript where he uh, breaks character as Rick. It, his laugh broke through and I was just like, that was it. Daddy, daddy. Daddy, help me. I'm just gonna go. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just going to knock their brains out with the hammer. <laughs> okay, well, you know. Now, mind you, this is a 40 year old man, okay? Now, tr typically, I have no attraction to 40 year old men, but when I heard him break character and laugh, I. I think I melted, like my soul melted. Like I love his laugh so much. I think I might be in love with Justin Roiland now, but. Who's to say? Whose physicality do you find most attractive? I don't know. Why choose? God has made us all beautiful. Yes. L let me take the high road on this one. Have you ever giz visited a gay bar? No. Why is there just never a no option? I just, I haven't. Have you enjoyed kissing someone of the same sex? Yeah. I've done it once and I liked it. My first kiss actually was with a girl. It was second grade and she wanted to practice. And so, and, and she asked me to help her practice. And I was like, okay, swag. And I liked it, but I didn't like fall in love with her or anything like that. Like it wasn't anything crazy. Cause I was like, what, six or seven at the time. I was doing her a favor. I didn't really see it as like this eye opening experience. I just saw it as me helping someone out. So I've been pimping myself out from an early age. Yeah, that is the one and only time I've ever kissed somebody of the same sex as me. And I was fine with that. Good life experience. <laughs> your best friend admits being gay. What, what would your first reaction be? I'm happy for them. You know, I've had a few friends who have come out and I was, I was happy for them. Cause I was like, oh my God. Watching somebody openly be who they are is truly such a touching experience. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be easy for them, but I'm just, I'm, I'm happy for them that they can say out loud and be proud of who they are. I don't know. Like that, that makes me, that, that warms my heart. I love it. You are watching a movie. Suddenly you see a same sex couple kissing. What do you, what would be your, be your reaction? It's fine. It's a free world. Yeah, really. I don't, I don't care. Come on now. We're not. 12. We're, we're all adults here. Relax. Describe your ideal partner in one word. Why? I don't care what their sexuality is. I mean, I guess it does matter because if I'm like attracted to a dude and he ends up being gay, then I'm like, well, okay, well, you know, <laughs> right? You know, like, okay, that doesn't work. But like outside of that, it really doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I'm picking a random one. Go away. In the past few days, have you imagined yourself intimately touching someone of the same sex? No. I haven't imagined myself doing anything in the past couple of days. Good Lord. 
I've been so stressed. The last couple of days I've been fighting for my life because it's the first week of uh, classes for me and I, I'm too busy stressing about what I'm gonna eat and like when I have to do my homework. Like I got other things to worry about and I've been sitting here thinking about what what YouTube video I'm gonna put out because I haven't put out a YouTube video in two weeks and I, I need to do something, right? Like I, I'm too busy worrying about literally everything else. Why did you take this quiz for content? Why is that not an option? Solely for fun, I know I'm straight. Yeah, I'm not saying that, whatever. I'm just picking a random one. You got pansexual. You're pansexual. For you, gender doesn't matter. You also believe that you can fall in love with anyone if they're a nice person. Sex and looks are irrelevant. So yeah, I've learned a lot today. Um, I've learned that people cannot make am I gay quizzes to save their lives, and the majority of them really do suck. I've also learned life is a highway, and I'm gonna ride it all night long. You know, I, I try to kind of keep my answers to the questions kind of vague because truthfully, I don't talk about my sexuality very often. Um, I usually really only do it during Pride Month because you know, it's it's Pride Month, but I kind of keep it brief and then I keep it pushing. Yeah, that last quiz was interesting because uh, for the longest time I actually did identify as pansexual because I, th I, I looked at definitions and stuff and I was like, yep, yeah, that sounds about right. But then I realized, sort of recently actually I've realized, really, I've never really connected to that label. I've never really Really connected to it and truthfully I don't think I really connect to any I don't like how there needs to be a definitive answer when someone asks like who I'm into or who I'm attracted to because it's like first of all why do you care why does it matter and why do you care first of all what do you gain from knowing it's like I don't know I've never really liked the question but secondly I also know that I'm asexual on the spectrum so not 100% there but I know that I'm on the asexual spectrum so that's like the only thing I know for like for certain but yeah as far as like my actual set like my uh, my sexuality goes like who I'm like attracted to um whether it be physically or romantically it's up in the air I don't like answering that question. I do call myself like a homosexual. <laughs> I like it, I, I you know, and I do. And I know there's like a lot of uh, pushback when it comes to people who don't 100% call themselves gay because it's like, for crying out loud, look at Harry Styles right now. Harry Styles has been getting a lot of scrutiny online lately because he doesn't like directly call himself queer, but he likes to profit off of the aesthetic. And like, that's what a lot of people are saying. And it's like, it's really a toss up because like I can see how people can see that he's trying to profit off of queerness without actually being queer. But at the same time, it's like, you know, why, why should I make it so painfully obvious what I am? right or who I'm attracted to it's like it's it's very weird it's a it's an inner battle you know I you know thanks to my asexuality regardless I am going to be in the community and but I do know that a lot of asexuals they feel like imposters because they don't they don't feel like they are polarizing enough as people to be a part of the LGBT plus community it's an interesting conversation to have because it's like you know how is not being sexually attracted to someone like you know part of the LGBT like you know you're still straight you're still in a heterosexual relationship like congrats you're not having sex how how are you a part of the community right there's like there's a lot of back and forth about that and some of that imposter syndrome has definitely set in with me because it's like okay I dropped the pansexual label so and I'm really only definitively rocking with uh the asexual spectrum label so it's like you know am I really in the community anymore I mean I still for the record I do like girls. So it's like, I feel like that should be enough, but it's like, but because I don't 100% say that, or I don't have a label for it, or I don't want a label for it, I feel like that's still not enough, even if it's true. So it's, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. And I, and quite frankly, I don't talk about it a lot because ugh, I just, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the conversation. I don't like the back and forth. I don't like the mental anguish I get from thinking about it and trying to figure it out. It is such a, a migraine inducing conversation. Really at the end of the day, I, I feel like I, it, it shouldn't matter. And I know that may not be the most op popular opinion, but like, that's just how I feel at this point. Um, whether you wanna call it queer baiting or whatever, you know, at this point, I can't do anything about that. I, mean, I know who I like and what I like 
and my type. I know me, right? And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do me. That's really all I can do at this point. You know, I'm tired of trying to figure out what's going on with me and how to present myself to the world. Oh my God, we did not ask. Plus ratio. Uh, make better content or I'm following young boy better. Um, but yeah, I'm tired of having to figure it out or feeling like I have to. Straight people don't have to do this shit. They don't gotta sit here and and, and and fight for their straightness. It's not an issue for them. And it's like, I kind of envy that. It's like, I like, it's like I want that straight privilege without actually being straight. And so that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel about that. Sorry for that little mini rant. Yeah, for if there's anyone out there who's just like doesn't know what the hell's going on with them, um, truthfully, you don't need to know. You don't need to sit here and sit down and take am I gay quizzes. You don't have to do that. You know, I know I joked earlier about how, you know, if you have to ask, the answer is probably yes, but like really, you don't you don't have to. I feel like a lot of people really like labels because it helps form a sense of community. You'll know like what's going on with everybody. It's like if you you know that you're not alone in the struggles that you feel. And so I'm not sitting here shit talking labels because I think labels are stupid and dumb. Like no. But at the same time, I feel like it's a blessing and a curse to put yourself in a box. Yeah, there's pe- there are people out there who know exactly what you're going through, but if you kind of stray away from the norms of that box, then surely you have to be something else. You're not being gay correctly. That's my two cents on the issue. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, that's 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 it. That's it. That's that on that, right? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got to this the the to this point, yeah yeah yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate you with my whole chest, both of my titties. If you'd like to follow me on my any of my other social medias, they will all be in the description as well. Once once again, if you would like to take the same quizzes that I took in this video, then the links to the quizzes will be down in the description as well. So have fun with that. And um, I will see you when I see you. Again, I started my first week of college uh, last week. So I'll try my daily darn hardest to be more consistent, but no promises. Okay, I'm sorry. Bye. Mm-hmm.